The fresh legs may have been the difference in this one. Purdue led Illinois by as many as 44 points in their Big Ten tournament opener while the Illini looked drained from their third game in three days. The Boilermakers shot 58% from the field and route to avenging that loss back in Champaign in early January. They played tough. They, we just got made some open shots. We, um, they want to double our bigs, make this big good decisions, and when they didn't double our bigs, scored the ball. So teams are going to have to choose on us whether you want to double or you don't. Um, guys are shooting the ball really well now. We just played a lot harder than we did last time against Illinois. Uh, you know, we didn't play very good down there. Uh, second year in a row, we lost to them when we shouldn't have. You know, today we were fired up and ready to go, and you know, we made some shots. But I think at the end of the day, we just played harder. It's just a great day, you know. Uh, they might not follow tomorrow. You might have to play just harder tomorrow, just grind it out. So you just got to be ready for everything. We were just able to come out, make wide open shots, move the ball, play good team defense, and play good uh, offense. And guys made shots. Our bigs did a good job of making decisions for us inside the post, and we were able to uh, come out with a, a huge win for us. No Boilermaker played more than 24 minutes against Illinois. Another revenge game on tap tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m., Purdue and Michigan. At Bankers Life Fieldhouse, Rob Hughes, Sports 18.